Kirsty, box number two. Reveal me a penny, my love, please. Thank you. Oh! <laughs> Hold it! Don't touch it! Don't! Don't! Oh. Yes, it's don't, a penny. Don't touch it. <laughs> there isn't a card in there. Don't touch item. it. An act of God. <laughs> Never ever happened before. We've got a camera. We have an empty box. No. There is nothing in there. This is going to take some time. You're probably going to have to open all the other boxes to see what's yeah, missing. <laughs> David, firstly, sincere apologies for the disruption to your game. Yes. Um, Excellent. And apologies from particularly the independent adjudicator. We've never ever had this happen in 707 games. And uh, I think it does underline the fact that there is only one person who does know where the money is. This person works alone in a sealed room, so has nobody to help them, check them, or ultimately check every single box was filled. We're very satisfied that this was a genuine human error. However, it is very important that you feel happy with the way in which the game is played from here. Of course. So we can give you the option. And I'd like you to think very carefully about this. I'll sit down. You sound very serious. <clears throat> well, this is serious because deal or no deal is a game of great fun. But we never, ever forget it is about money. Uh, we can give you the opportunity to abandon the game and start again. Or what we can do is continue the game, having taken all of the boxes away, the independent adjudicator will shuffle the sums of money again and we will continue the game. So you still have the opportunity to win all of the sums of money that are still in the game at this moment, right. including the one I'm holding which is what should have been in Kirsty's box. Yes. <laughs> so the choice is very much yours, David. OK, I'll go for the second option, then we'll reshuffle and we'll go for that. And I'm very pleased you're going to play on, because this sum of money will remain in the game. It was the quarter of a million. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe that. No. So we are now going to take all of the boxes away and the filling process will recommence. Sorry uh, for the delay, ladies and gentlemen, but it was David's wish to do it this way. We must respect that wish. No, you seem more upset than me. I'm very upset. I know you are. I'm very upset. Oh. Um, and it's, it's human error, but... It wasn't God's will for that to be displayed there in box two. Well, you're a good man, David. Thank you. Is it? Well, you know. <laughs> it would be devastating, wouldn't it? I, I am going to tell you all something that I think the offer that's been made by the Deal or No Deal team is incredibly generous of them. I chose box two, and the fact is that the £250,000 should have been in there. It's incredible that it wasn't, but uh, anyone can make a simple mistake and anyone who hasn't ever made a mistake has never done anything and uh, I think it's really generous for you to have all the boxes redone. Well thank you for that David. Thank you. Thank you. I would again like to apologize for the disruption to your game. Uh, we will continue once again, having no idea, and most importantly, the banker has no idea what the contents of the boxes are. OK. You have two boxes to the next phone call. I'm going to go back to Kirsty and say, 
Please open box two, Kirsty. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Here we go. 35,000. Thank goodness. Come on, David. Come on, David. Come on, David.